I'm delighted to introduce this short film to you of internationally renowned artist Richard Smith, an amazing sculptor, a passionate conservationist, and a bit of a cheeky chappy. I mean, I've, I've been drawing animals and birds since I was a kid, since as far as I, as I can remember, really. I was never like an academic at school. All I could do was draw. My other interest was natural history. You know, I'd see birds in the garden, I'd try and sketch them. I couldn't really talk about them, I couldn't write about them, but I could draw them. And uh, it sort of finally developed into sculpture, bronze sculptures. But what's on my doorstep around the home counties, you know, I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but it, it's, it's in my blood, I know about it. Now, I'd like to go out there and see something, be inspired by something, and that sets off all these different things in my head. But how can I utilise that, that, that first sort of sight of it in a piece of sculptural work? No matter what I'm doing, if I sit in a pigeon hide in a high seat or sit by a riverbank, nature sort of comes to you, it's there. So after working in the field, I go into the studio and get to work on making the uh, original wax model. These days I use a white modelling wax. And as long as my hands are warm, I can get it to sort of work like putty. I use all sorts of tools to help me, like um, broken saw blades, bits of cardboard, half a credit card might work. But to be honest, there's nothing like using your hands. I make the wax sculpture in the studio. When it's finished, we get it delivered to the foundry. It goes into the mould making department and the mould maker assesses the shape of it and then he cut it up into various sections and then each section has a mould made. So when he's making the mould, he makes like a, like a Lego box for it. The wax model is then placed inside. Now when that's set, that silicone mould's taken off and the new replica of my original model goes to the next stage, which is called sprueing. An incredible part of the process is the pouring of the molten bronze into the mould. The temperature's checked, um, and when it gets to 1200 degrees, it's uh, carefully poured into the moulds and it really is like a bit of ancient alchemy. You can feel the heat on your face from several feet away. It's really quite amazing. Once it's cooled, the bronze is uh, bashed out of the, uh, the mould and then it's cleaned, it's polished and checked before going for the patination. So it's quite a lengthy process from when it leaves, leaves my studio to when it gets into the gallery. It could be several months. And then when it reappears as the finished piece in a gallery or in a, in a show in London, for instance, with all the bright lights, it's, uh, it's magical. The gallery is set in such a way, it's got this perfect ambience about it. And you see one of my pieces on um, an antique table, for instance. Immediately, you can see it how it would be in your own home. And uh, just to see them sort of come to life, it's unbelievable. I feel really proud to see them. And it's like they've been reborn, as it, as it were. Anne and Stella are just good people, you know. Know their business intimately not only here, but also abroad. I got it down to a T. And that, in turn, gives me confidence in what I'm doing. I don't have to worry about marketing and that sort of thing. I just get on with what I know, and they do what they do what they know.